Power. This is the world's smallest lecture segment because it only has one slide. Well, this one plus this one. Define the average power. The average power is the rate at which work is done. We've talked about work, whether it's positive, negative, or zero, depending on the orientation of the force vector and the displacement. Power is the rate at which you do work. It's obtained by dividing the work done or the change in the energy by the elapsed time. So it's a work divided by a time. We use a uh, letter P to denote power with a bar over the top to denote average. And it's a work divided by a time. It's measured in, work is measured in units of joules. Time is measured in units of seconds. And one joule per second is called the watt. So that is the unit of work, uh, of power, that is. And you say, well, wait a second, Dr. Edwards, uh, a watt, I've heard of that. Is that I've, I've got 100 watt light bulbs and 60 watt light bulbs in my house. Are we talking about that kind of watt? And I say, yeah, we are. Yeah, it's exactly the unit that you use to measure the power of your um, light bulbs. And that relates to the second way of thinking about work. It's, I'm sorry, power. It's the work done or the change in energy. So that 100 watt light bulb uses up 100 joules per second of energy. It's the rate at which you use up energy in that light bulb. Or, alternatively, the rate at which work is done. So that's the bottom line. Um, it's a work divided by time equals a power, and the power is measured in watts, in joules per second. Uh, human metabolic rates, uh, in, if you're running 115 kilometers per hour using 1340 watts, that's how much energy you're using up per second, joules per second. Uh, skiing, biking, walking, sleeping, etc. cetera. Um, and here's a conversion factor between watts and horsepower. So you need um, 745 watts makes one horsepower um, of energy. So when you're running, you're, uh, you're using a fair amount of, um, of power. Uh, more than a horsepower. And that's power.